Welcome to March Madness, everyone. I'm Kevin Fernandez, and we're here in Salt Lake City, where the Long Beach State men's basketball team is set to face Arizona in the first round of the NCAA tournament. After winning the Big West tournament in stunning fashion, the Beach punched their ticket to the dance for the first time since 2012, as head coach Dan Munson was fired just a week before leading his squad to the NCAA tournament, making it one of the greatest stories in college basketball this season. Now the team is here in Utah ready to face Caleb Love and the heavily favored Arizona Wildcats with a chance at the Cinderella story here in March Madness. Fans and students of LBSU traveled all the way to Salt Lake City to support the team as they warm up for the big game with the entire nation tuned in. Under the bright lights, the beach started off hot in the first half, going on a 17-2 run at one point thanks to Abubakar Traore and guard Jadon Jones who knocked down a key three to extend their lead in the half. However, the Wildcats took over as they absolutely dominated the second half, going on a 24-2 run of their own, a lead the beach couldn't overcome any their magical run this season. Nonetheless, Long Beach State fans are so incredibly proud to reach the biggest stage in college basketball. This one's special for me because I'm from Salt Lake City. Uh, I grew up just outside of Salt Lake, went to Long Beach chasing basketball, uh, played there in 2015, and then to have my team come back to my hometown, it's kind of like a dream, especially in Coach Munson's last year. So I was on top of the world. I was more emotional than I thought I'd be. I was almost in tears. Those same feelings were echoed by Munson in the locker room after the game. It was emotional in the locker room, but I made them look me in the eye because they got there was no heads down because I can't be more proud. This this group needs their heads up high and I want to thank them for the ride. Jadon Jones also describes what this team meant to him. We're a family and we stayed a family through everything. And you know, if you saw the locker room, you would see a family. You know, we love each other, we love this game, we love coach. Reporting from Salt Lake City, Kevin Fernandez, Beach TV News.